All right, gamers, welcome back. We're playing Atlas, and thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys are having a great morning. We're back here in Atlas, and we have been doing some traveling. In fact, just over my shoulder, I see some crystal or something over there. But anyway, we're not going for that. We have been, well, let me show you here. Let me pull up my paperwork and show you. So we're in K6. We're heading home, basically. We went all the way down here, you might recall. I even placed a bed at our, our Opal Island right near the opal deposits so we can kind of warp over there do some mining and uh, we still have to make the trip to go pick up the resources uh, when we need them but i can go over there and you know get it kind of ready so we don't have to spend too much time we can just get there grab our stuff and get the heck out of there but we've got a boatload literally a boatload of stuff and so we're here we want to travel here and then we want to travel over here so that's what we're doing today because the the next item on our list is going to be tin and because uh, we got iron basically now and we've got uh, opal but opal i mean opal's just gems right but we are we're kind of like on the hunt for all the metals and so we've got like copper quite a bit of it we got iron on this ship so if we don't lose it we're good to go um we've also got silver and we've got some cobalt but not much now what i've been doing what is that down there what is that something dead on the on the beach we gotta go check is, is our ladders down are our ladders down? <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh, something dead on the beach here. Let's go. We want this. Is it a dolphin? It looks like it might be. Yeah. Oh, there's no... Um... Oh, I thought we'd get oil out of this thing. Okay. Well, now, well, now I feel like this was a bad idea. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, is he going to be able to climb up here? This guy sometimes... Okay, no, he's good. He's good. Oh, he almost went the whole way this time. This guy's a champion. I don't know what's up with the ladders on the boat, but man, I wish they'd fix that. I wish we could actually get onto the boats oh, from the ladders. Half the time, we can't do it. All right, let's go. That was really weird right there. Oh, I thought we got... Ooh! Oh, we got, like, trouble over here in this water, man. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, so I've been kind of sticking close to the shore, and there's something else dead on the beach. This is like a killer beach. For real. Um, also, you know what? Actually, just before we take off, I think I have a, a sextant now, don't I? I think I made one. I did. Here it is. Let's try it out, shall we? People have been begging me to do this. Let's go. Oh, you can't put that there. You got to put that here. Very good. So we pull this thing out. Look at look at this fancy gizmo. Look at this. Uh, so I think we just kind of get it ready, hold it up, start looking for stars. Pretty easy. There's one right there. See, there's one. Oh, I got to click right. I discovered that star. Okay. I, I discovered that star. I got to find like four of them. It's easy. You just look around. They could be anywhere. Oh, there's, there's another one. Okay, and then they float off who knows where. And then the other one would be... It could be anywhere. They could be behind here. You can look through your boat from, from my experience anyway. Um, there may be a timer going there on the bottom right. 46 seconds. Where is this thinking last star? Oh, oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I think I was supposed to find all of them while I was still looking through this thing. Oh, stink. Is that actually the case? Yeah, I'll stink. All right, we're going to show you how to do this once again. <laughs> Let's get this thing going. It's a little time consuming, like, like if you do what I just did. <laughs> but, uh, all right, where are you? Where are you, stinking stars? You, you see them wherever. Hello? Oh, wait, wait. There's one. Hiding by the sun. You thought you could hide by the sun? I got you. I got you. Sometimes they're low, too, man. Like on the horizon or whatever. What? What? Oh, oh, mm. Behind Johnny over there. Where, where in the world are they? It's not usually this hard. Oh, there's one. Oh, hiding in the clouds. Oh, that's the problem. They're they're white and they're on these stinking stars. There's another one. Okay, and then, and then, let's not let's not blow it this time, shall we? Oh, there, there's another one, I think, or is that the one I already found? That's what I already found. Okay. So you see, it's usually less, a lot easier than this. <laughs> I'm just being terrible at it. Get up there, buddy. This guy's being awful. You stinker. That was one we had already found. You got to really see the the stinking green. You you would th you know you would think that this guy would be better at this. Let me just scan the skies for for little green dots. Come on, where are you? Where are you, stinking? Hiding behind a cloud. Where, where? Mary, is that you? Okay, good. How high up do I have to look here? This is why I don't waste my time with this. I'm terrible at this. I swear I left clicked on that last one. Okay, well, I don't know. Now I can't even find them. There was a bunch of them. 
We did just, we did, we did fantastic. And then all of a sudden, I'm clicking and things are mad at me. So what happened here? We don't see any of them now? Maybe I messed up so bad. Oh, we could always do it at the next island. I should get going. But that's basically how it works. Alright, there's one. Let's see if we can't do this. Come on, buddy. This guy. This guy. So you got like a minute to find them all. That's, that's not too bad. But man, am I stinking at this. Usually it's not that hard. I was doing this like, you know, as soon as you start recording. You can't do it. That's how it works in this game. Yeah, no, we're not going to find these. This is this is being weird with me. Usually you just see them pop up and then it's really not that hard to find in my my previous experience anyway. Would have been nice. Oh, there's another one. Okay, okay. We're getting there. How did we not see that one previously? I don't know. Come on, buddy. You got to find two more in like 25 seconds. Can you please? Are they up there in the clouds somewhere? Oh, there's another one. And then? Is it pointing towards the next one, maybe? There it is. There it is. We found them. And then we get the buff. Oh, snap, and that took forever. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, man, I know. Some terrible sailing right here. But now we have a compass, at least. So we want to basically be going north, and that is this way. And we'd also like to avoid any... Uh, problems with storms and ships because we're not moving too quick let me tell you we are not moving too quick we gotta make sure we get away from this island we came in real nice and close but all right so if we take a look at this if we take a look at our map here we are kind of aiming it's kind of nice that they have actually you can just hit seven on your number pad and then zoom in and you see where we're going here we kind of want to go a little more to the east, which is that away. All right, full steam ahead, everybody. Full space bar ahead. Let's go. All right, so we want to go north. I'm hot. Yeah, sure I am. I'm at sea, buddy. So you can see my buff there at the bottom. It's 1,440 seconds of sextant buff, which is basically giving me, you know, my speed, my direction, my degrees, I guess, is the direction degrees. Current region, K6, which is real nice. Okay, that island right there, we should head along. So we'll skim along the left-hand side of this island, and then we'll go along the right-hand side of that island. But as you can see, let's let's get the wind on our sails, actually. That would be real helpful. Uh, as you can see, even longitude latitude is listed there. That's pretty sweet. It shows you where you're at. But you see, we're not, really exa we're not exactly chugging along here at a high speed. So when we run into the enemy... It's it's pretty hairy. <laughs> it's it's not it's not my favorite situation. Um, and of course, the galleon is um, not Mister, you know, maneuverability here. But um, we've we've got a, I mean, we've got some valuables. I think we have like an entire crate full of opals. Oh, I thought I saw some ships there. We got to keep our stinking eyes open. Um, let's go a little more this way. If we stick closer to the shore, I think we'll have less trouble with with uh, Pirates of the Damned or whatever. So let's just stick like this. Hopefully we don't get too much trouble. Uh, as well as like, you know, bad weather. If we run into some bad weather, we'll, we're close, we can just kind of anchor. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to be out in the middle of the ocean with a full ship. So when I get back to my base, uh, basically, my goal is to unload everything, right? I've got like four crates here to unload and then uh, rebuild the crates and take them off so that we can actually travel at a high speed. Um, to get to where we want to go and then put them back on fill them up with hopefully tin i'm looking for tin that's kind of my goal today but i was uh, i figured i better get some of the travel home done because we are super far we we're super far and how are we looking here this is if i go like this this is nice you see a nice compass on the top of the screen is pretty sweet it's it's a good buff it's a good buff to have i mean what, what is that exactly 60 well, i mean let's say 1200 i don't i don't even know what is that 10 minutes is it like a 10 minute buff? It's over 10 minutes, no? Because 60 seconds a minute, and then you got, uh, would it be like 10 of them would be six? Oh, no, it'd be 600. That's like 20 minute buff. It's over 20 minute buff. That's pretty good just for looking for like four stars. You know what I mean? I mean, I have my sextant fully buffed, though. I have like the, the skills all the way up. So that gives you a pretty nice buff. I mean, you know, I don't think it'll take me 20 minutes to get home. There's some wrecks. We'll have to do some of that, too, but I think we're going to do wrecks with a smaller ship. Like those wrecks over there? You know, I think we can do them, but like with a smaller ship. 
Oh, this island over here on our left is not much of an island. It's like a bunch of stinking stone pillars sticking out of the ground. Oh, man, it's dangerous to go near those because, like, the, the, there's, like, a lot of shallows. I've had that experience further back, and my goodness, there's, all, like, even here, oh, we're pretty far out still, though. But we're going to try to cut across here. And you try to anchor near there during a storm, and, and you can't see squat. You can't see that the water is actually quite shallow. And then you're, you know, your ship's bobbing on the water, and you're afraid it's going to smack into stuff. But this is pretty good, actually. So let's have a look at our map. Let's zoom. Well, I guess we won't zoom in. We passed that thing, and we can pretty much go straight north from there. Could we not? We could. Well, almost. Hello? Okay, that's stinking spook. What is going on? What is happening? Okay, there's a little bit, <laughs> there's a little bit of jankiness right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't like jankiness in the game. Usually, it means it's loading something in. I guess maybe it's the island. I'm not sure. It's a nice island. Pretty quiet, I would say. Too much stone. Need some lushness. But so where we're headed, basically where the tin is, is back to the desert environment. Now I'm hoping that my clothes and my ostrich will be able to help me through any difficult times. Pull those ladders back up. Uh, you know what I mean? Like for like the heat wave. Because if you're in the desert, it's already hot. And if there's a heat wave, it, it's not a pleasant situation at all. All right, let's go like this. Let's go a little bit more. Oh, the people who recommended using the sex and are, um, they, you know, you guys weren't wrong. Eh? You're not wrong. You should, you should probably buff before you head out. It's just nice to have a compass. I mean, seriously. The top of your screen like that? It's nice. I don't, I don't really see how that's a disadvantage. Well, maybe it's a disadvantage in, in PvP. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, is uh, that give you some kind of an advantage? Why would they not just always have that information up there? I don't know. Like, just by having it in your inventory? Why is it a buff? Is it a buff because this is... I don't know. I don't, know. I don't see how you would have an advantage in, a com in like, naval battles or something like that. But uh, maybe it helps you get home faster? Is that is that what it does? I don't know. Okay. Well, let's keep sailing here. I don't think we're going to get too much in the way of excitement. It's still pretty early as well. Was it noon? Yeah, twelve twenty. Look at that. And uh, I was—I was kind of on the way on the way back home. I was kind of just stopping at. Gosh, it's a crate. I was kind of stopping at different islands just to mark them and get the discoveries and this and that. But I think, um, I think we'll be okay. Let's not get too far away from this island. I don't—I don't think I'm going to do much more of that. I'm just going to go straight home, unload. I think by the time we get home, it's going to be almost evening anyway. I like the look of this ship. Also, this this sail here, the one like I've got my my this back one here. What do we call this again? Oh, uh, control or whatever it is. And then you've got like the weight one, right? And then and then I feel like this next one is way too close to the those two are the ones on the bottom right there. They're way too close to each other, and it's this one's fault. Like look at the gap in between the weight sail and the and the speed sail there. And then those two speed sails are too close. I want to back that one up. I know I know, I got my animals there and there's like a spot for them. But there'll still be room for them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we should probably... I know this is a little bit risky going out deeper to sea here. Or, or further out to sea, but... So far, so good. We're going to run into trouble. Uh, this, is, this is a bad area for sure. I wish I could learn like the shipping lanes. Because <laughs> I... Like I know the ship of the dam, they pretty much spawn always in the same place. It feels like, anyway. Especially near my home base. There's always that one spot I can just go out and, like, farm them. But, uh, anyway, let's get our butts home here. How much further do we have to go? We've got... Not much, actually. Not much. So I'll bring it back if anything exciting happens. But for now, we are doing okay here. Let's get there. And we definitely have a situation here. We are hard to hard to starboard here, for sure. What level is this guy? Three. I oh, ain't gonna do nothing to me, buddy. Oh, and then there's more over there. Fantastic. Oh, hey, 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 you're hitting the merchandise. What are you doing? Oof, that guy, look, man, that guy wants. Is it guy? Okay, we got to do hard to port now. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man, we're swerving like crazy here. Swerve, buddy. Oh, these small guys aren't going to do much to us anyways. I almost feel like firing back. If I didn't have a ship full of opals, I would. Oh, I would. Okay, okay, that's enough, buddy. That's enough. Stop turning. Actually, you see, I guess during combat, that does help. It shows you if you're going north, like if I'm still heading towards home. That's kind of handy. That guy there, man. Oh, the guy that came out and hit us. Oh, I would thrash them all. But there's too many, like three on my right. And then four over there, probably more. You just don't see them. Stinking watch. I'm probably heading into more of them over here, too. 
I don't know why they give you so many ships. I mean, I guess you're supposed to be playing with friends or something, and then uh, I don't know if you got like two other friends on their own ships. Then there's like three of you versus seven of them. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to take all of that out. I guess if I opened all the cannons on my galleon, I'd give them a thrashing, and one day we'll do that. But, I mean, we have done that in the past already. Ooh, are we going to take that thing out? Ooh, oh, oh, oh. It survived. Look at that. Okay. Very good. Okay, we, we managed to squeeze in between those two fleets. Man, a lot. That was crazy. And we're still not even at our... We're still... What are we still in K6 here? Yeah. Well, it's nice to have quick information up at the top. <laughs> it is. So what are we doing here? North, northeast? All right. So we should be coming up on the on the border here pretty pretty soon, I would say. Yeah, we're going to have to go more north. All right. We're, we're managing okay so far. We're doing great. There's a bit of a science to uh, backing up the galleon at your base. Um, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Not perfectly straight, but we're just kind of here temporarily. Right? As far as I know. Can we anchor here, actually? It doesn't even say... Oh, we can. Okay, I can barely see that we can anchor here. And we got ourselves a nice little stingray um, oil deposit right there. Which is kind of nice. So, actually, we don't have to get that close, do we? Uh, no, not that way, buddy. Not that way. Straighten her up. I always get confused by that. I don't know why. All right, so if we just back it up right here, and once it's straight, you can just kind of, or you know, straight, but lined up with the stairs there. Bam! There we go. Pull in the sails, and we've arrived. Let's actually get that oil while we're yapping. But we've got like a bunch of stuff. So I've got my weight up to ten times, basically, what it would normally be. Uh, let's look at these cannonballs. We have extra cannonballs and all these cannons. I'm gonna take all of that off as well, just to keep the weight down. I'm, I was actually really disappointed that I brought that with me. I didn't realize they were hiding out here. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I could put them inside of one of those containers, but... And even this, we've got, like, basalt, tons of iron. I mean, tons. It's it's a fair amount, okay? Um, and then over here, uh, just to show you the loot we got from that last run, there's the opal galore. We also got gum off of some trees and Herkimer. And then I was picking up a bunch of roots as well and some of the wood that was there, which was just strong wood. Um, that was kind of nice as well. I found the roots all over the beach, in fact. They're just there on the ground. And what do we got here? A bunch more salt. This and other oh, some more roots there, I think. Yeah, there you go. And then we found the straw, which is pretty cool. That was out by the... Oh, here's more iron. That was out by the swamps there. There's a bunch of straw by the swamps. So if you're ever looking for straw, man, hit those swamps and you're good to go. So, okay, so I got lots of unloading to do. With my weight up a little bit, it shouldn't take too long. But I do suspect it's going to take us right into the evening. Um, maybe. But let me get down here and see. Oh, we need the ladders, buddy. Buddy. We need the ladders. Okay, so let me get myself organized, and then uh, we'll we'll come back when we're heading out to sea, basically, again. And we're back, and we have unloaded this ship, something fierce. And uh, I did want to do a little work here on these things here, so I took out the well, I took out the ladders I could reach. I, for whatever reason, I can't reach this one. I don't know. Uh, no big deal. So we're going to take this one apart. It's just too close to this one. Move the guys around so I can back it up a little bit. Hopefully, I can put it kind of like here. I don't know. Who? Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Who's working this sail? I thought, I thought this guy was working this sail. He might be. Maybe he's working this sail. And then that guy's working the middle sail, and she's working the last sail. Wait a second. This guy was working this sail. I'm pretty sure. Hold on a second here. Uh, no, use cannon. So I'll tell you what, buddy. Um, can you follow me for a second? I'll come right over here. Okay. Can you use this sail? And then he sits over there. Okay, okay. I think, I think. Oops, no, 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 buddy. No, no. Okay, this <laughs> this clown. Uh, no, no, buddy. You come over here. You're using this sail right here. Come on. No, come on over here. I'm dressed you up. You got somewhere to go. Let's go. And he's going to use that. So I think, wait a second, because there's two of them sitting here. I didn't notice this one sitting here. So she's got to be working this sail. Okay, you you there. You're about to, you're about to take a temporary leave from your job here. Let's see. So if you take this down, hopefully this is okay. What do we have here? Fully open, man, sta man stations. Oh, no, no, no. Rotate ladder control. Ladder controls? Oh, really? Retract all ladders, expand all ladders. Oh, right from here. I didn't realize that. All right, so if we demolish this. Oh, I think that scared the bananas out of me. There goes my ladder. Okay, so she's she's out of a job, right? And then this guy, he's still sitting there. I, I'm pretty sure. Okay, all right. I, I miscalculated that one. So we have an extra sale here. Now, the problem is... I should probably go right there. I think it was like here or even up here, right? Ridiculous. Um, 
how does this look here? Close like that or close like that? I think I had them really, really close. Not that close. Like maybe like here. What do you think? I don't know. The choice is here or there. We back it up a little bit and then we can have like the weight sail right behind it. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of why we did that. It would be nice if we could back this one up even one more, but because the sail, the booms are so big, you know, they reach. This one probably could go back one more. Anyway, we won't do that. So, can we live with this? Like, what if we? What if we go take a look at this here? Uh, you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. So that's a weight sail right there, so it's okay. Can we put the sails up? No, we can't. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Some of them are being wonky. This this one here I just put in is nice and straight, and all the other ones were off to the side. I can't really, but I think that between the between these speed sails, never mind the weight sail, but between the, the speed sails, that's that's much better than it was anyway. I think those are fairly equal gaps too. That looks pretty good, except for the one in the front, of course. But even the one in the front's probably too far ahead. But whatever. <laughs> okay, that's just something I wanted to do. Now. Uh, how do we get off of here, buddy? Okay, so we have our paintbrush. So if I go up to this one here, you'll see I've painted four, five, six, and three, right? So I just got to do the same thing over here because it's not super easy to see what you're doing here. So if I go three, uh, apply paint, five. Okay, it is super easy to see. I was just making that up. And six. All right, let's go. There we go. And then that should basically fit the rest of the equation. So as you can see, the sun is going down, but that is not going to stop us. Our ship is... Look at these guys, all aiming crazy. It's fantastic to have all these guys working. So we got to put her actually back on her job, right? Where is she standing? Where is she at? There she is. I see you, I see you. So, use cannon. There seems to be a cannon situation. Empty cannon still kicking around. All right, you come here. Use the speed sail. And bam, she's sitting there with her buddy. Oh, look at that. Crazy ropes. I think that's probably why I didn't... Oh, that's really weird. What the heck is that? <laughs> well, why is that rope going way over there? Is that because that's where she's sitting? Because it looks like they're sitting next to the... I have no idea. I should reseat these people. I don't know who's working what what, what thing. Now, if I take her off of there... Hold on a second here. You know, maybe it was always like that. I don't know. But that's, that, that's coming from way over there. I don't know. Man, this game. <laughs> it's wonky for sure when you're building that. Oh, now she wants to use a cannon. You stinker. Okay, so I'll line them up, and we're going to get ourselves out of here. In fact, I, I backed up nicely, so you are going to use the speed sail. You understand that? And then, what? And then she's over here. Okay, uh, we might relook at that and work that out, but let's get out of here. I've got, let me see here, on my inventory, I've got some food, this and that. i got some fruits down below, yes. Looks like we're taking our, oh, we can take our colors with us, no problem. There's something I wanted to see, too, just real quick here. I should look at this. Large box, 54 of 100, 8,000 of 8,000 hit points. Okay, so like, cause stuff gets hit around here, and I I mean, at least the ship gets hit, but it doesn't seem like anything's taking damage, which is kind of nice. Okay, so, should we try doing this thinking, um, you know what, maybe we should. This thing again, the sextant, let's, let's go. Let's try this again, shall we? You want me to use this thing? We're using it, let's go. Alright, let's see. We're gonna do this again. Ooh. Straight up, straight down, I guess. I don't know. Once you find that first one, the timer's going. I don't know if that... Because it, it looks like a shooting star when you find it. You know, you click on it and then it like kind of shoots off. And I wonder if it's pointing towards the next one. I don't know. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Like, why else would they have that in here? I don't know. Look at this. I can't find a single one. Maybe because I'm not at sea? Maybe because I'm still anchored? Is that possible? I don't know. No, I think you can do this buff whenever you want. That thing keeps throwing me for a loop. Oh, weird. You know what? I can't waste too much time on this. I know exactly where we need to go. We need to go west. And as a matter of fact, I think... Let's see if the wind is, is heading that direction. Mm, not really. Not really. So, where we want to go is... Let's zoom in here a little bit. Oh, we got some weird lighting going on here. Oh, actually, we should look at it like this because we can see where we're going. Um, so we don't. We went here already, obviously, right? So we kind of want to come in low. Well, there's three little islands here, and there's one of them I want to check out. So that's that's basically where I want to go. So I guess I should head south and then west. 
right? All right, let's see if we can do this. Full sails ahead. Let's see if the wind will cooperate with us. I don't know. There we go. Hey, oh, see, now we're moving. Oh, see, well, now we're moving for real. Okay, hold on a second. See the sails, man. We don't want to be charging out this way. That's where the enemy's at. Look how fast it moves without those cargo crates, though, for real. And I have some of them on my workbench now. So, it still doesn't turn, though. This thing still doesn't turn. Wow. We shouldn't have fully zed the sails. The wind is going to be at a weird angle, but it, we just need to get to the other side. The wind is, it looks like, pushing against us. It's going to take some zigzag work in order to get there. Oh, boy. Sails full to the port side. Let's go. Hmm, this is going to be challenging for real. Okay, so this will get us, this will kind of get us there. But it's going to be awkward. Okay, so this might take a little while. I'll bring you back when we get a little further, because this is going to take some maneuvering here. And maybe I'll even try to get the sextant buff going again. But uh, hold on a second, we'll get there. This is going to be dark too. Woo. I think we're heading into trouble. Fog just came upon us here, and we are, we're getting close to the edge, but we're not that close. And usually... Usually this is where the ships of the damned are hanging hang, hang it out. Oh man, we are headed basically straight for where we want to go, but now we can't see squat. We go up like this, you know, with your right click, and just just keep it on. Oh, oh, what just happened? Oh, I guess the sun is setting, and that's giving us a little bit of visibility. Weird. Okay, well that's good. that's handy. Let's go back up here. Keep the sea on. It is stinking foggy, though. What's happening? Why did we go back down? Oh, probably because I hit stop. You can just kind of... Oh, what are we seeing out there? I see flashing of stuff. We can't see squat. All right, I won't press C, so we can actually take a look for a little bit longer. It is. We can't see squat. It's just a screen of whiteness. We see a little bit, but... We're not going to hit an island or anything like that. But we could run upon like a whole fleet of guys. We're moving at a pretty good clip. I've been trying to do the sixteenth again, to try to get the buff, <laughs> and for whatever reason, I'm having a hard time. I don't know if it, it almost feels like you can't do it while the ship is moving. I, I don't know. I can't even find the first star. I tried like four times uh, while the ship was moving. Maybe it's just me. You got to find that first star, I guess, and then go from there. I don't know. So I don't know if we're gonna survive this. Ho hopefully we do. I don't really feel like coming upon like a whole fleet of. Uh, Ships of the damned or anything like that. I mean, we just fixed our ship. Look, look at look at sails. They look way better now, don't they? They do. They do. Maybe that front one can be moved back a little bit. Because eh. you know, like a speed sail with the with the weight sail right behind it, like that actually looks pretty good. I like that. Um. Okay. Well, maybe we're not coming upon anything too exciting. Here's hoping. We're moving at a good clip too. Like the wind is not. We're almost full full wind in the sails, so we're doing pretty good. I wanted to see how fast the, we were going, though. Oh, here's the barrier. See you on the other side. And on the other side, it's not foggy. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so we are looking for, although the sun is setting. So I guess when we get there, that'll be that. Now let's just make sure we're heading in the right direction. I want to find this little island. I think we're still heading in the right direction. It might even be a little bit more straight. I think we're kind of heading... You know, west southwest almost. So we should just kind of straighten up a bit here, get a little more wind in the sails. It should be straight ahead, head right into the sunset, everybody. Look at that, heading west like a champion. And no disturbances, no disturbances so far. So we're doing good. I like that. Keep that to a minimum. We're doing just fine. We're sailing away here. If we go like this, we sure can. Look at that, man. That's sweet. Taking off in our beautiful galleon, just heading west. A little, little west, a little bit north, but we're doing okay. And straighten it out a bit here. Why not? Getting a good bird's eye view of the of the ocean here, of the sea. Beautiful, in fact. I like this. I like this game a lot, actually, just for stuff like this. But I don't see the island we're heading to. I wish I did. <laughs> I really wish I did. Oh, I was just like a certain comfort in just seeing the island you're going to. There is a certain comfort there. Because no matter what happens at sea, you can just kind of okay, gun it, everybody. Yeah. All right, I'm going to check my map again. Well, I think we're almost there, to be honest. It's got to be right here in the sunset. Let's keep going this way. 
It's a small island, but it's supposed to have tin. So, oh, there's an island over the way over there, I think. So we'll get there. We'll have, uh, well, maybe we'll make landfall in the next uh, episode. You know what? Well, I mean, not land. We'll make landfall, but then we'll we'll get onto the island. Oh, I think that maybe that's it there. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. According to my map, it says it's straight ahead. Oh, there is something straight ahead. There's something way over there. Oh, okay, I see it. There's like, look at that. You can actually see like stuff stuck out right there. You gods. Okay. I don't want to come upon it too hard here. Let's actually cut along the side of this first. Man, you can't see it with the sun in our face. Is this how the sailors feel? Man, no troubles in these waters. Although this is going to be desert, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge. I mean, we have our light clothing. We have, um... Do we have a food that buffs us? I think we might. A drink or something that buffs us from the heat. And then, of course, we have our ostrich. So that's kind of handy. Um, okay, let's just make sure this is where we want to be going here. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I absolutely think it is. Fantastic. Well, this is weird. Maybe it's just, oh, maybe it's only this little island, and then that one over there is like another island. Another island. This can't be the only island. So hopefully there's no stinking pirate ship here. I think that island over there on our right-hand side. Okay, I think we got to slow down here. I'm not sure what is happening here. This is a really small island. Let's see. It only looks small. You know what? Maybe we can go along. Maybe we can go... Well, actually, maybe we'll aim right for it. Whatever. And then we'll just kind of... We'll, you know... We'll line up with the wind when it's time to leave. Alright, so what does it look like if we get out of high mode? Okay, well, we're coming in here. This is beautiful sunset arrival. So this is going to be hostile for sure. We might have to build like a little base or whatever. Uh, I don't know, man. I think we should see the sails. I don't see much to land over there. This is all rock and stuff. Maybe we can land right here? Let's just turn a little bit. I know it's against the wind, but let's see what we're doing here. A little bit. Yeah, okay. We'll come alongside here. Why not? Why not? Interesting. We'll just survey the land. I don't see any pirate ships. Thankfully. We turned off the pirates, so hopefully they stay off, but you just never know. You just never know. Can we come alongside here? That would be sweet. Chances of us finding tin on this small island are pretty high, I would say. I can't tell if there's any shallows here, though. Oh, maybe just over there. But look at all this stone here, like on the beach. Hmm. I don't know if we can get off here. We can anchor here. All right, it seems like we're doing okay. I see some shallows here. You know what, I'll line myself up. What I'll do is I'll just come along the side like this, because this is gonna be hard to like get away. Well, I mean, and the way the wind is now anyways. But can we come alongside this little sandbank right here? That'd be sweet. Can we keep going? Get the ladders down? Let's park it right there, shall we? Look at this place, man. Look at this place. What a neat little island. What's that run around up there? Ah, uh, we're gonna have tigers and who knows what's here. Okay, but we're gonna keep it there for now, guys. There you go. We've traveled home and now we've traveled to the this desert island where hopefully we're gonna be able to get some tin. Looks like it's gonna be hazardous, but we have a bear this time. We didn't have a bear last time. <laughs> we were we were running for our lives half the time. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this crazy little trip here through Atlas. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And hopefully, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.